What did they say? They said a lot of things. They still say a lot of things. They say meat is bad for you. Meat is actually the ultimate health food. They say the sun is bad for you. Sunscreen gives you cancer. They say inflation is necessary. So they rob you while making themselves rich. They said smoking was good for you. And then it wasn't. And they pretended that that's what they always said. On and on and on and on it goes. Welcome to Better Human Podcast. I'm your host, Colin Stucker. A daily dose of something to help you become better, to think better, act better, to learn better, to become a better human. That's the goal because life is about the journey. We're here to answer the question of what is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is betterment. The meaning of life is to leave yourself, the world, well, I guess not yourself, but to make yourself better, but to leave the world a better place for your kids or for your friends and their kids, for the next generation, for humanity. You do that by first mastering yourself, improving yourself, and then you give your gifts to the world and what you learn, you share. That's what we're here to do. Share ideas to help you think better critically, more for yourself, to challenge the status quo, and to hopefully live a long, healthy, happy life. I don't make any money with this. This is a passion project. My day job over at Wild Foods is what keeps me occupied and pays the bills. And this is what I do because I genuinely want people to make better decisions. And if you look at what's going on in 2020 and 2021, we have, you could say, a pandemic of mind virus and lack of critical thinking and outsourcing that to the experts and the politician. People have been doing that for years. And why do you think we have 50 plus obesity rate? What's so funny and ironic to me, and I wasn't gonna talk about this, but I guess it's applicable. It's not funny, it's sad. It's depressing. It's enraging, actually. 500,000 people, no, 600,000, excuse me. It's around 600, probably closer to 620, 650,000 people a year die from heart disease in America alone. You know what I mean? Die from cancer? It's like 300 to 350,000. Autoimmune disorders, uh, Alzheimer's, things like that, that they're also a top 10 list. Hundreds of thousands more. It's about, we could say 1.5 to 1.75 million Americans die every year from mostly lifestyle preventable diseases. And then you have something like COVID comes around and you have all this hysteria. You have a violation of personal property rights. You have locking people down, doing these other inhumane things that I believe we will see as the data comes out have actually killed more people and caused more harm to more people, more families and more children than this supposed thing we're supposed to all be afraid of. And then you have the vaccine that comes out and based on the publicly available numbers, it's one in 100,000 people die from just taking the freaking vaccine. Probably higher than that. The numbers, the math, the narrative, all of it doesn't add up. Now, I hope you're here listening to me, watching me. You're a critical thinking human and you can separate the ability of your brain and your bias to hear something that you don't like and not have to attack me. And ideally at the next level is to not only not attack me, but to actually try to understand what I'm saying so that maybe you can strengthen your perspective. That's what it's all about, strengthening your perspective and getting as close to the truth as possible. Because there's a lot of things we're not gonna have absolute truth. We're not gonna know for sure how dangerous COVID is, for example, but it's likely not as dangerous as they've said. And most of the data supports us. Even the data they feed us supports us. So what about the data that is actually objective reality? We know how many people die from heart disease and cancer, and it's probably higher than that. That's the data they actually have. What about the data that's even not reported? And that's from people not eating clean. That's from people trusting the food pyramid and trusting the experts that told them to eat low fat, and they load it up on seed oils and other processed foods, and they've slowly been killing themselves and still do on a daily basis from fast, convenient food that the big mega corporations profit from. It's insanity. If you, and this is the big idea here, for every thing in your life that you outsource to someone else that you don't know and that has different incentives than you do, their incentive is to keep their job or to promote some narrative that some corporation donated to them to support or whatever it is. Every single thing that you outsource to someone else outside yourself, you're taking a risk that that thing and the actions you take as a result of following that thing are going to hurt you. And if you actually look at the status quo and if you look at the average person, let's say in America, you should be deathly afraid of following the people that those people have outsourced their nutrition to, their thinking, whatever, because those people are dying to the tune of 1.5 to 1.75 million a year, not all of them, but most of them, from preventable lifestyle-related disease. And instead, you've got people yelling at people for not wearing masks and all this other social virtue, social signaling, virtue signaling nonsense. Like, the narrative is so backwards. Our society is sick. That's what we have to accept. It's sick. It's backward. The signs are not good that we're getting any better either. It's getting worse. And the elite will take on more control, more power, 
They're going to keep using these things, these narratives, this fear mongering to make more money, more power, take away more rights. And it just is what it is. It's no single one person. It's just a bunch of backward incentives, artificial things that are the result of years and years of government mismanagement and just government in general and what it does. Government always goes for more power, more control. It just is what it is. It, it does what it does. And that's why every civilization throughout history has lasted, the max has lasted like 250 years. America's just coming up on 250 years right now. Can you imagine that? <laughs> every fiat currency in the history of mankind has collapsed. And the dollar is reaching that ceiling as well. So I talk about this stuff a lot throughout all my content. The best way to follow along and to think about these things is to give yourself small bits of information, small doses. You're not going to change your life overnight. You're not going to challenge the status quo overnight. You're not going to change your beliefs, things that have been basically uh, ingrained into you for years, years of indoctrination and propaganda. It's not going to happen overnight, but over time, you can really become a first principles thinker and see through so much of the muck. And it is liberating. It's liberating, but also scary because you kind of don't recognize your old self and some of the people around you, like you're going to have some major questions that you're going to have to ask yourself and that might come up with other people. I would say my recommendation is don't try to change anybody's mind because they're not going to. Just live your life, do your best and offer help if people come to you. Don't project it out onto others and definitely do not expect people to change because you want them to. And even if they say they want to, don't expect them to change on your schedule. Support the show with any one of our approved companies here. We got Wild Foods Co. You can go to Wild CEO for 12% off. You got Swan. Bitcoin, Colin.coach slash Swan. That's how I buy Bitcoin daily. And then my favorite grass-fed meat on the planet, CrowdCow, Colin.coach slash meat. And then Sizzlefish, where I get my seafood. A little bit of my doorstep every month. Colin.coach slash fish. That's going to be it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.